When viewing large worksheets, there may be times that you want to see different portions of the same worksheet at the same time on the screen together. In this particular worksheet, we've got data sorted by department. There is a group in the department list here, admin training, and later there's a group professional training. We might want to see portions of both of these at the same time. We can introduce a horizontal split. There's also the capability of a vertical split, allowing us to split our screen into two separate portions and then scroll independently on either side. We can put the active cell somewhat arbitrarily in column A if we want to do a horizontal split, roughly 50-50, roughly halfway down. It can be anywhere, really. And then on the View tab in the ribbon, choose Split. It introduces a split line. We can click and drag, move this up and down as we wish. We might begin by clicking in the upper portion of the screen here. Recognize if we then click in the lower portion, we've got two scroll bars over on the right hand side. We can use that or either the mouse button. I'll use the scroll bar on the right hand side for the lower portion and scroll down to some of those names in the professional training group, which come much later. And maybe we just want to make some comparisons between some of the people on either side. We also might consider zooming back to see more names that way too. And we can always change the location of this split line at different times. And I think you can see how that could be really helpful when you're trying to show data that's widely dispersed within a worksheet. If we want to get rid of the split line, we can go back to the menu or simply double click the line. That's probably the fastest way yet. Get rid of the split line that way. At other times, you might want to consider splitting the screen vertically. Uh, let's imagine here that we need this data to be large because other people are viewing it over our shoulders, perhaps. We might want to see different columns at the same time. We might want to introduce a vertical split. And so for these situations, we want to click on a cell in row one. Again, more or less mid-screen usually works best. Introduce a split. And now we've got a left-right split. Now we can scroll independently on either side. Maybe what we'd like to see is some of the salary information here along with the data in columns A, B, and C. So on the right-hand portion of the split line here, we'll scroll left and right to see that data there. Now we can scroll independently on the left side too. That's a little bit unusual, but we can certainly do that. We're scrolling on the left side, and then maybe we go to the right side and show the data this way. A little bit unusual, but that's another approach to the data. We can also have a four-way split, and usually I don't think this serves too many purposes. It does allow us to see different cells no matter where they are. But if we position the active cell more or less mid-screen, remove the current split, maybe scroll over a little bit, put the active cell, say, about mid-screen. If we then click the split button on the View tab, we have four scroll bars, two vertical, two horizontal. And I don't know if we necessarily need to prove this point, but this would allow us to see any two cells in the worksheet at the same time, no matter what. So we could go to the very bottom of the worksheet, we could go rightward, we could go leftward using various techniques. I've yet to see a really powerful use of a four-way split the way we're seeing this here. So I think most of the time, if you want to use this feature, use either a vertical split or a horizontal split. And in the example here, if you do have a four-way split, you can easily get rid of it simply by double-clicking the intersection. So it's a vital tool for allowing you to see different portions of the same worksheet at the same time.